Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to see how we can update any SharePoint list item without creating a new version to it. So this is a very genuine problem where probably we are having one of the SharePoint list and the actual users used to modify that list and we want to create the versions. But when we work with the Power Automate to update or to actually track any approvals and all that, it also creates a new version. So that's a system updation. So we don't wish to create any new version for that specific thing. So how to circumvent that problem? So that is the solution we are going to see. I have created one of my SharePoint list that is uh, this sales monthly planner is it's intended to be used by the sales person creating a planner for every month where they can just enter the campaign campaign summary about the campaign and a start date of that campaign so if I just click on this item and go to version history I would see like a couple of versions created so you can see like I have uh, uh, four versions created for me and this person is actual salesperson who is modifying this item but when I wish to change the status or anything into SharePoint list item using Power Automate, it will also create one new version. So that problem we are going to tackle today. We don't wish to create any new version when it's going to update it with the Power Automate. So how to do that? So I'll just go to my Power Automate. And as I said, every month, so because we have this start date, so my flow should be running every day or every month start to look at the items which are related to for that month for example this campaign is related to this October and as soon as the October should hit it sh the status should be in progress but it should not create a new version when it was it is going to modify it with the power automate so I am just going to my this uh, power automate and I'll just create a one scheduled flow and this scheduled flow I wish to uh, let's see update sales plan and I wish to run that every day let's say like uh, I'm, I'm just for the demo purpose and creating it so in next step rather than I mean checking or doing any using update item of this thing uh, from power automate rather than using this update item I'll be using send HTTP action to SharePoint so that we are going to use send HTTP request I'll just pull that and over here in this I'll just fill out this information site address this site address where we are intent to make an update method we are going to use post method let me just fill this out this site is my this one and in URI I'll be actually showing you that from my notepad Yep. So in URI we will be putting this API web list get by title and this is my that list name item for now like instead of doing get items like all the items and then iterating I because I just need to show you that like I will be passing this ID so this item ID is just one because I have only one item if you are going to pass that into a loop then you have to do a get all items and fetch the ID of that uh, all the batches item and then uh, do this update so valid update list item so we have to use this endpoint I'll just copy it and I'll just go to my flow paste it and under the body now I'll be specifying my body like what columns form values and form values contains the JSON for field name what field I wish to modify so I'll just say that it's a status column so I'm changing that as status and the field value as soon as that date should hit I should change that to in progress and once the month ends I'll be changing that back to as completed so once the month is and so this everything is going to happen within my power automate and this is the key where we actually this uh, says that version should not be created be new document update so that means like their doc the metadata should be updated but the version history should not be created so this is the key parameter or the attribute which we are going to use which, which would not create any version for this my SharePoint list item. So now I have just pasted that body and for test I'll just save it and then I'll just do a test run. So right now my planner this thing is into new status and I can see how many versions are there. So I have four versions and lastly modified as status as new it was changed back 
and now I'll test my flow just run it up manually for now because the trigger is one day we can't wait for that and running that flow so it ran successfully I'll just go back to my flow and I'll just see whether the column got changed or not so this column got changed so in a normal flow run it must have created one new version and must have updated modified by field as the connector owner who is running this flow but in our scenario I am expecting not to have a new version so the last version which we saw was just version 4.0 only but you can see the status was used to be a new but it updated that with the in progress but it did not update the version the value got modified but no new versions are there so we are back there like we completed we achieved what we wish to we did not create any new version last updated by was my with my sales person only there would not be any service account or person who is running who has created this flow so we are done i believe like uh, this quick tip should be helpful for you and if you feel like please do press like button and if you have any further question please drop your comments that's it for today thank you